I spent a couple of months using both the CalDigit TS4 and the CalDigit Element Hub as my primary docks, connecting all of my workspace peripherals to my laptop with just one Thunderbolt 4 cable. In this video, I will highlight the main differences between the two. I will share my experience using each of the docks from the perspective of a software engineer and a content creator. And finally, I will try to answer the question whether or not the TS4 is worth that additional hundred or so dollars over the Element Hub. Hello coders, my name is Caro and I'm a software engineer and a huge tech enthusiast. And in this new series, I'm going to bring you tech reviews of all the products and gadgets that have the potential to streamline and simplify your workflow, saving you precious time and making your job that much more enjoyable. Talking about saving your time, let's get straight into it. Let me just start by saying, you won't go wrong with either of these docks, assuming you own or plan to own a device that supports Thunderbolt 4. Both docks are backwards compatible with Thunderbolt 3 and also with USB 4 via USB-C interface, so you can start using them even before you get a machine that can utilize 100% of their capabilities. In my search for a perfect dock, I tested some cheaper alternatives like this $20 Ugreen dock from Amazon or trying to use my monitor as a USB hub. And even though both of those solutions did work, they were far from perfect and far from actually helping me to create a more ergonomic and simpler desk setup. That's when I turned my attention towards proper Thunderbolt 4 dogs, delivering better port selection, charging capabilities and data speeds. I looked at different CalDigit products, however only TS4 and Element Hub featured Thunderbolt 4 connection. I also looked at Razer Dock Chroma and Kensington Docking Station, however both of them had some serious drawbacks that were hard to forgive at that high price point. Now let's focus on the CalDigit TS4 versus Element Hub. We'll start by comparing the physical properties and specs of the two docks, we'll run a speed test for reading and writing from an external hard drive, we'll talk about ergonomics and portability. I will also share with you some fatal issues that arose during my time using one of the docks and finally I will tell you which one I chose as my main unit and why. This is going to be a highlights comparison to help you see all the things TS4 and Element Hub have in common as well as where they differ. If you're looking for a deep dive review of either of these docs, I made two dedicated videos for exactly that purpose, so make sure to check them out. You can find links in the description below. CalDigit Element Hub measures 18 by 70 by 140 millimeters and weighs 180 grams, around the same as the latest iPhones, just twice as thick. TS4, on the other hand, is definitely a much bigger unit, coming at 42 by 141 by 113 millimeters and weight of 640 grams, making TS4 three and a half times heavier than the Element Hub. As you can see on the video, you can put two Element Hubs next to each other and get the same size as the TS4, or stack two of them on top of each other and get TS4's depth. Here's the first difference. TS4 is definitely made to be placed at your workstation permanently, while Element Hub is designed to be easy to carry on the go. This shows even more with the availability of the Kensington lock on the TS4, a feature that lets you physically lock your device to your desk or to a wall. Let's go over all the ports available on both docks. TS4 features 18 ports, 10 more than the Element Hub. Three of those ports are Thunderbolt 4 with 40 gigabits per second speeds. Element Hub has one more Thunderbolt 4 port. How come the cheaper unit has more of the good stuff? I think this is due to the fact that TS4 has to support many more ports while still relying on just one Thunderbolt 4 cable transferring data up to your laptop. So adding that one more super fast port wouldn't really help much in reality as the host connection becomes a bottleneck. By the way, talking about connecting to your computer, this number of Thunderbolt 4 ports includes the port that is dedicated as the host device connection. Here we also have the very distinct difference between the two docks, where Element Hub delivers 60 watts of power to your laptop, while the TS4 
delivers 98 watts of power, which is over 50% more. This won't make a difference if you're using a MacBook 13 or 14 inch, but the lower charging might get you in trouble if you have a more power hungry device. All the other USB ports are USB 3.2 Gen 2, meaning they boost speeds up to 10 gigabits per second. Element Hub has four of those, all with USB-A interface, while TS4 has eight of them, five USB-A's and three USB-C's. Three of those feature offline charging, meaning the dock would charge your connected devices even if no host laptop is connected. Element Hub has no such feature. TS4 also has one 20 watts USB-C at the front in case you wanna charge something quickly. I usually use it to charge my phone while I work at my desk. And that's all in terms of ports for the Element Hub. TS4, however, has another seven ports. At the front, those are SD and micro SD card readers and a combo audio jack, which is pretty useful if you wanna quickly connect your headset for a Zoom call or to monitor your audio levels or if you just enjoy the great quality of sound that wired connection delivers. At the back of the dock, you can find a two and a half gigabit ethernet port for a wired internet connection, DisplayPort 1.4 for your monitor and a dedicated audio input and a separate audio output which I have permanently connected to my speakers. Let's now quickly look at other items you get alongside your main unit. The included Thunderbolt 4 cable is 80 centimeters long in both cases, but it's not actually the same exact model. The difference is just cosmetic though. And the power bricks. The difference is very subtle, but nicely surprising. TS4's brick comes with a right angled cord, which might help you save some space or tuck the cord a little bit more neatly under your desk. Regarding the size, those are the same coming at 20 by 74 by 150 millimeters and weight of 308 grams, making it almost twice as heavy as the Element Hub unit itself and half as heavy as the TS4. Is TS4 faster than Element Hub? You'd probably think no, because they feature the same connection standard. However, during my test, I found that indeed TS4 is slightly faster than Element Hub and much faster than direct connection to the laptop. TS4 was able to read at 440 megabytes per second and write at 410. That's around 10 to 20 megabytes second faster than the Element Hub and around 30 to 50 megabytes a second faster than the direct connection. I just wanted to let you know that Try and Byte, the store I purchased my dock from, was kind enough to offer a free cable organizer to the first 10 people who ordered the Element Hub using my code EHCARACODES at the checkout, as well as for the first 10 people who ordered the TS4 with the code ts 4 caracodes one of the units just failed on me after barely a month of using it. The data connections didn't work, even though the LED that is supposed to indicate that your dock is connected did light up, as well as power was being delivered to my host laptop. Any troubleshooting suggested on the official Caldigit website or by the store I purchased the dock from didn't work. That included using different computers, connecting different ports on the laptop, different power plugs, restarting the computer, rebooting the dock, testing with different cables and devices devices and finally restarting NVRAM and SMC, but nothing helped. Eventually, I got my unit kindly replaced by the store at no additional cost. They also didn't know I'm going to make a YouTube review of, of it, so it, it wasn't any kind of preferential treatment. Anyway, I'd love to know what was the reason for this failure. I suspect that some of the internal circuitry melted just because this dock gets extremely hot. And yes, I'm talking about the Element Hub here. TS4 seems to have much better thermal control, probably thanks to its size. My TS4 never got so hot that it would be painful to touch, while Element Hub definitely did. I'm not saying all Element Hubs are doomed to failure, I I've been using the replacement successfully for another couple of months without a problem. It's just something to keep in mind. By the way, now would be a great time to give this video a thumbs up. So for the final version, you might already suspect which dock I chose as my primary device, but let me explain why and in what circumstances I would find the other one to be a better choice. The winner for me is the Caldigit TS4. The main factor contributing to this decision is the fact that I mostly work at my desk at home and I have a lot of devices that I want to be connected to at all times. TS4 features better ergonomics and better port access for me, especially including the front-facing USB ports and the SD and mini SD card readers for when I want to transfer video footage from my camera to my laptop. When I do travel with my laptop, I usually don't take anything other than the charger, 
my SSD and maybe sometimes I debug mobile apps on the go, but you no longer need a cable to do that anyway. So the main advantage of the Element Hub doesn't really work for me. On top of that, TS4 delivers more power to your host device, which will be a great bonus when I upgrade my personal laptop to the 16-inch MacBook. Is there anyone for whom the Element Hub would be a better choice? In my opinion, if you need to connect a lot of peripherals while on the go, like if you are a traveling videographer or the content creator, or if you often deal with clients outside of your office, then it would definitely work better. Also remember, you can forget your laptop charger and just use the hub and its power supply to charge your device. The Element Hub is also cheaper, so if you don't need all the ports, go for the hub. If you're still not sure if the TS4 or the Element Hub is the right dock for you, check my deep dive reviews of both of these docks here.